On any given day, 10,000 people are peddling food on the streets of Los Angeles. Wow. 200 of them are actually permitted. It's a lot of unpermitted. <laughs> I know. Yeah. When I first heard that, I was outraged. I thought there's going to be an outbreak of the plague. We're going to bring back tuberculosis. But then I looked into the requirements for getting a permit. Four separate sink compartments, 20 gallons of water held for various cleaning purposes, exhaust ventilation, mechanical refrigeration, and large food storage capacity. The average salary of people who do this is 15000 annually. So today, Leo and I are going to go patronize them. Help them out. After all, they're subject to getting their food dumped, being harassed by rival vendors, and sometimes they're straight up attacked. We might also be taking one Fan Jerry to Catalina Island today. Yes. Been a while since we've seen that mother effer, huh? It's gonna be nice. Let's give a thumbs up for a great day. Subscribe to the channel, and also check out mine and Leo's podcast, The Leo and Danny Show. It's a good one. Link down below. Can I get an orange juice, please? Doesn't get any more authentic than that, huh, Leo? Este que es el verde. All right, let's do it. He's getting fed right now. Ah, you gonna eat on the job, kid? How are you gonna be able to monitor the whatever you're doing here when you're eating? I don't know. You tell me. What's your job, my man? You set those up? Okay, you put two little gates out. Wait, nice. wait, what do you set up? These two uh, little gates. Oh, Leo, that must have taken them hours. How long does it take you to put these gates up, man? The way you did it, it's, it's unbelievable. It's a perfect right angle. It is. It's a good, it's really nice. Is that guy bossing you around? Uh, Tupac, could you come to... Tupac? Yeah, let's get him out here. Listen, Tupac, Ricardo set up a hell of a barricade. We want to negotiate a raise. Is that Tupac? 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 My man. Uh, Tupac, listen, do the words employer exploitation mean anything to you? Yeah. No. Oh. Let's take a good look at Ricardo. Ricardo's working real hard. I think we need to negotiate a raise. What are you paying him right now? Uh, I don't know. Why do they call you Tupac? Do you have some bars? Can you rap a little bit? No, that's my real name. Back are you, uh, 1500s. are you affiliated? Uh, what do you mean affiliated? You bang? You know what I mean. Me? No. You don't bang? Uh, no, man. So you're a gay man? Uh huh. You heard me. No. Oh, no, like, okay. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, you can't say, you can't call a Latino gay. That is like a very high level insult, right? I mean, you can call a Latino fat. You can call a Latino stupid. You can't call him gay, Danny. Tupac, quit being so fat and stupid and pay this guy a <laughs> living wage. Come on. When I heard what you over the radio, yeah. I was like, what the heck is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything I said remains the same, though. <laughs> I mean, you had Ricardo lug this piece of metal and this piece of metal into this formation. Yeah. He's like, I put the defense one way and the other fence the other way, and that's it. Does he have such a heavy Latino accent? A little bit. I, I was exaggerating his, his Latino. Ricardo, accent. tell us what you did to the fence. I carried it. He sounds perfectly American, asshole. <laughs> Say it again, Ricardo. He sounds like I sounded when I was 16. He does, he does, dude. Do an impression you just did of him. I took a fence and I put it this way, and then I took another fence and I put oh, it this way. Cool. He thinks you talk like that, right, Ricardo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna imitate these guys here, uh -huh. right? Yeah, let me hear it, let me hear it. Dude, documentary, right? It is lighthearted, dude, you know. We're a couple of dudes from, I don't know where, maybe OC or- Dude, fuck, we're the OC. Nah, yeah, man. Come on, are you kidding us? A dollar? Can you do 50 cents? You guys are exploiting the uh, the Latino culture here. Leo. The Latino culture here. Unbelievable. You're not as Latino as this guy. Esa vez que yo hablo español y también soy latino. Mi papá es argentino, mi mamá es colombiana. Soy argentino. Soy Che. Che, boludo, che. Oh. Hey, he only gave me seven bucks back. Oh wait, Nico's coming with us. Nico's coming with us. Oh, right. He's smarter than me. Smart. So Leo, everything we're seeing here is, I'm not gonna say legal, uh -huh. but they had the wherewithal to get a permit to pay a small fee. So we're just gonna do a quick lap around and then we're gonna get outside to the yeah. illegal vendors. Yes. Oh, Danny, I have paintball guns. Hey, cutie. <laughs> you like that? It's beautiful. I used to play paintball, actually. He's professional. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Big time. And then sometimes, 
if the bogeys were over there and I was here. See that form? Yeah, he's really good. He was, he's one of the best in the world, actually. Uh, are you run this? Do you run this joint? No, no, I don't work here. I'm just going around. You're just visiting? Yeah. You find any treasures? <sighs> Besides that man right there? <laughs> he is a treasure, isn't he? Mm -hmm. mm, sort of. <laughs> Where are you from? Not my type. <laughs> not your type? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's your a professional paintballers in your type? <laughs> Baby. What is, what is not your type about him? What do you not like about him? I don't know. He's just not my type. Where are you from, that accent? Where are you from? I'm from Chile. Chile. Step up. I'm armed, dickhead. Mm -hmm. Let's switch sides nice. here. And where are you uh, from, paintballer? Uh, Fresno, California. Cool. And there used to be a business called Predator Paintball over there. Uh -huh. They give me free balls, so I was so good on the field. Yeah, he was, he's a professional, you know, like I said. Um, it's a big business, paintballing. I mean, it's right up there with a uh, rapper, the same kind of societal kind of, uh, you know, accept, uh, respect. Yeah, Nike was trying to give me a shoe. I didn't want it, they were trying to give it to me. How much for the gun? 60. 60, I'll give you $13. Who said that? I said that. How about you give me 60? I'm the one who's got the arsenal over here. You better be careful how you talk to me. But uh, 60 if you want to. It's all right, man. Here's $10 for the trouble I gave you. Appreciate yeah. you, man. You're the man. Yeah, you, you, don't, don't, don't. Oh. oh. Throw your money Was that insulting? Yeah, no, you throw your money at me, you give it to me in my hand. Go ahead. Just keep walking, boss. Thank you. Leo, these people, you see how decadent they are? I know, we, they we, didn't, we didn't get onto the streets. <laughs> they don't want 10 bucks. Yeah. This place, it's a little too gentrified for me. Honestly, yeah. Stuffy, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I've seen too many white people. I mean, the parking lot looks like a Tesla dealership. Yeah. yeah. We got gouged at the front gate. A dollar oh, each? Come on. Man. Are you kidding it's me? Bullshit. It's bullshit. Are we in Bel Air? It feels like we're in Bel Air and not sure East does. LA. It sure does. We're just humble sure folk who want to play some Trivial Pursuit. Yeah, come on. How much for the Trivial Pursuit? Five dollars. Are you kidding me? Five dollars for Trivial Pursuit? Por qué? To enrich my knowledge? The Latino machismo, it's it's heavy in here. I mean, was that was it like I called him a bitch when I threw money? Yeah, 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 it's just like... It was. Yeah, it's sort of. It's a strip club I thought it, I Exactly. Thought it was a universal thing, too. Uh, we, no, we don't really... Nah, you though. throw... Watch, watch, find a white guy, throw money out. Yeah, Tupac, throw a handful of change at my cameraman. Yeah. If you want to see him on hands and knees scrounging around. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tupac, we're out of here, man. Thank you so much, dude. You were so cool, dude. How's it going, man? Como estas? We're looking to eat. What do we got over here? Kebab. What's your name, man? Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo? Ricardo. This is for you guys? Thank you. Tip, a little Thank tip. You. Tell me about your kebabs. That's a Persian food. It's a what? A, a passion food? Persian food. Oh, it's a passion Persian food. food. Persian, Persian, Persian. Are you Persian? No. How do you learn how to cook Persian food? Uh, I used to work at kebabs, restaurant. Uh, like, I want you to promise me right now, and Leo, uh -huh. that this isn't a skewered Persian cat. What? <laughs> you know Persian cats? Some gato? No, no. 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 <laughs> you like that one, you like that one. Chicken breast. Nobody's frying up the gato over here? And the rules for today is we can only eat at places that are not permitted by the Department of Health. Yes. That's you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Everywhere, everywhere. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, right, yeah. That's what I like to hear. That's phenomenal, though. It's too hard to get. Oh, it's fine gato. It's good. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you. We're going to Catalina soon and we're bringing Fan Jerry. Oh yeah. I got an idea, it might be crazy. Uh -huh. And if it's crazy, you guys can shut it down. Mm -hmm. I won't open my mouth for the rest of the shoot. Okay. But if you're kind of digging it, let me know too. All right. Jerry has to carry a lantern <laughs> <laughs> and walk with a hunch in his back. Yes. Dude, yes. <laughs> we all have to dress up in costumes. Oh, we do, we do. We obtain illegally at these markets. At these markets, all right, great, that sounds good. What about the Louis Vuitton one, is that real? Leo, we gotta work on his bullshitting. We gotta help him move more fake designer stuff. This is handcrafted Florentine stitching. You know how they stitch in Florence? It's all about the buzzwords. Florentine, yeah. Venetian, yeah. just say stuff about Italy. Spaghetti, Spaghetti. ravioli, <laughs> Mussolini. <laughs> Mussolini's a good one. Mussolini is actually, I think he's the designer behind this line. How much? Funny. Sir. May I interest you in an authentic Florentine Gucci belt? Let me see your belt, pull it up. What do you got suspending your shorts right now? We're gonna sell this belt. Hey, guy vlogging over here. Authentic Gucci belt, come here. 
Just a random guy talking to me right here. A random guy? I am a representative from the Florence Gucci location. Oh shit. You see this belt right here? It's an ambassador. It is for sale today only for $182. I, I, I could do 183. <laughs> Are you fucking with me? Uh, if you're fucking with me, I'll swat your camera down onto the concrete. But if you want to do business like a man, I'm happy. See this stitching? This is authentic ravioli stitching. Named after Mussolini ravioli from the old country. Taste it, taste it. Are you gonna buy it or am I gonna have to strangle you with it? Who, who wants to buy it? Who wants to You're buy gonna it? buy it! Listen, oh, he knows us. <laughs> He's calling him Nico. What's up, dude? You actually know us? That's the that's wrong hand, G. Wow. What's my name? How about this? All right, Leo. Yeah, what's up, dude? Danny Mullen. Yeah, what's up, dude? My, my, my name is Sweet Johnny. Sweet Johnny, what's up, bro? Uh, I'm an aromatherapeutic herbs, you know, type of guy. Of course. Listen, if you buy this belt... ¿Cuánto lo, lo menos por esto? 45. You can tie it around your neck, masturbate, the he, cops will he, find you dead the next morning. He just went $5 more up. I know, he went because you're wasting our time. Hey, man, no time being wasted because it's all an investment right here, right now. What are you investing right. in? Man, the future, though. Oh, the, the future? I hope it involves the, dental the, work. <laughs> yes, it does. Hey, it does. It's gonna have to, dog. It's gonna have it's to. Gonna have to. So he's doing the shiesty well, shuffle right there. You see that, Leo? Yeah, I don't know what that means. That's the shiesty shuffle. I don't know what that means. I just insulted your teeth, so I'm gonna buy you the belt. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna buy you the belt. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, how about a shout out for my Instagram? <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll do that. I, only because I insulted your teeth. Under dash, big bunches only. Underscore? Underscore, big bunches only. Big bunches of what? Big bunches only of fresh eucalyptus and lavender. Straight delivered to you. you just, Check me out on Instagram. No, you, Underscore you deliver, on Instagram. Only. He delivers eucalyptus. I don't what do you not this. understand about it? It's another stress relieving plant. It's yeah. great for you. Shower. He's right talking like he's the holistic wife of a billionaire in Beverly Hills. Hey, come out here. We got to do the lavender and the eucalyptus. Hey, hey, you got to meditate for 30 minutes in the morning. And make sure your chakras are f***ing aligned. Hey, man, I got pine needles and f***ing. They bark. know what they're talking about. It'll level your chakras and all the energy stuff. No coffee. You, know. you gotta drink matcha. If there's no crash afterwards, <laughs> and you gotta make sure you're not exposed to any blue light after 8 p.m. because it'll okay. it'll oh. f with the quality of your sleep. Oh. The lavender. Oh, the buggy lavender. lavender. Oh. Bro, We're opening like a candle shop on Fairfax, it. homie. <laughs> you can come in. You can get a juniper scented candle. Hey, it's two hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Fairfax, Fairfax, Melrose, La Brea. By appointment only. No people of color. You have to be f***ing white to shop at this place, fool. <laughs> hey, big bunches only, honey bunches of oats, motherfucker. Yeah. I should. It's vegan honey bunches of oats. Vegan. It's, it's our take on that shit, fool. Vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, whatever you like it's, it. Climate change is real, homes. Hey, if you love doing that yoga, you're gonna love that eucalyptus. You're gonna love it. You're gonna need eucalyptus, dog. Big time, my boy. Big time eucalyptus. Amen. Uh, you guys are the best, bro. How's it going, man? ¿Qué tienen? ¿De taxi? Ok. ¿Y cuánto te están pagando para hacer esto hoy? Eh, 13 dólares la hora. Ok, 13 dólares la hora y has to pasar esto hoy. Eso es below minimum wage, Leo. I know. ¿Cuántos años tienes? 84. Es 84, bro. He's Leo, tell him just to say all Uber drivers have small penises. Si dices que todos los que, que manejan Uber tienen un pene pequeño. Mm. El Uber, el, el Uber tiene. <laughs> Leo, uh, what do you say we get a fruit cup on deck here? Sí, por favor. We can only shop here though if he does not have a permit. Si tienes un permiso, no te vamos a comprar. Pero si no tienes permiso, se te compramos. Tagaria, you laugh, bro. He doesn't have any paperwork? No. No paperwork. All right. Why are you drinking in public? Why are you drinking in public, man? Yeah. Because. It's a restaurant. <laughs> I don't know about that. This might be public land right here. Authentic, well, comida, solid to I don't even know what those words mean. This could be a clothing yeah, store. An asshole. Hey, sir, my Tesla's oh. almost done charging. I almost got to get up out of here, but I just don't like it when people come into my neighborhood. I just moved in, penthouse yeah, down the street. It's Hell yeah. It's, be, it's, it's a little shoddy still. It's not your neighborhood. My Sharpay doesn't like how dirty the streets are. In. Yeah. Okay, we call that what? Uh, what is the French term? Uh, being a badass? What is the French term? I mean, a good, a good price on an apartment? You're drinking in front of a clothing store. What do you have to say for it's yourself? No, I don't know. That's a clothing store, dude. Salvadorena? That's clothing. It's a restaurant. That means hey, pants. Hey, put your f***ing lens on the f***ing uh, facade. Nico, come check it out. We we'll see. It, yeah. Let's let the lens we, get an we, unbiased look at it. It's up for debate. It's up for debate. And then you put a big red asshole across the frame. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. No, I am going to get ahead of myself. 
because you don't know where the f you're at. I live here now. This is my hood. You live here now. Hell yeah. It's not your hood. Sir, you drink it on the street is bringing down my property value. It's, read the f sign and get off I my can't. ass. I can't. I can't. It should be in English. Oh, now we got a real mother <laughs> Oh, shit. There we go. Nico, now come this way. Come over here. Go over here. Bro, plumbers are not homeboys. Come on, dude. You're not welcome. Let's do my yet. special handshake. Well, welcome, but respect, mother that was very ironic. You're disrespecting me, mother yeah, yeah. yeah, this yeah, guy, this guy huh? to relax, huh? This guy. He's hey, crazy. This is our hood now. Me and, what's your name, man? Juan. Juan? Yeah. Hey, it's, it's mine and Juan's hood. One day, I'll show you what your hood's all about. What's that mean? Are you going to have sex with me? What does that mean? You have a popped collar. Who's gentrifying what now? He's a big mouth. He acts like he owns it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Oh, dude, you know, I was doing good till I saw you. You upset me very much. Why? That hair has a very devastating effect. <laughs> <laughs> that guy couldn't handle men like us who have resources. Who was he right. mad because you were... Because we have money. Yeah, that's a, he was because mad because we have money. Yeah. It's really weird. Well, it's, he's a homeless guy. He's, yeah, he looks like a homeless guy. World. Yeah, he's pissed off at the whole world, yeah. yeah. Leo, now that we've been branded as gentrifiers, yeah. my attitude has changed. We're gonna go to Catalina with a new attitude. Yes. I think the attitude is gonna be imperialist. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, oh, oh. What is there for me on this island? The oil fields? The yeah. Copper mines? Come check us. Look at this. Oh, I gotta come check it out. I'm feeling right at home over here as a gentrifier. Where are you from? China. Oh, wow, yeah. I'll take these. How much? I disagree. Five dollar. She actually, she actually said it in Spanish just in case. Love the fit, man. Where's the show tonight? Uh, yes. Downtown? <laughs> I guess. He yeah. Knows. He knows what's up. I just insulted this guy's basically identity, so I gotta buy something now. Yeah. The band is called Transylvanian Hunger. That's the album. It's dark. <laughs> Come in here doing the guttural voice. You know, with that dark throat. Yeah. Tell me, is there a famine over there right now? Famine, where? Transylvania. Uh, no, I think they're doing all right. The title didn't age well. I guess not. No, they were probably worse off in the '90s, post-communism. Mm. Hey, what's your best day here? Just curious. Like uh, money-wise, yeah. Oh, I can't drop that. You guys got the camera right here. Ah, okay. Oh, well, come on. You wait, wait, just wait, a couple wait, of guys. Wait, 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 wait. Just a couple of guys. How many young Latino boys have you abducted in the van? <laughs> None. <laughs> Trade that, secrets. That's come all on. that you went right there. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, we, we just messed around. How much for the purse and the truth about the boys? Five bucks. <laughs> Are you guys tripped out because I'm the only white person here? Or? Yeah, dude, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, you're a novelty. And you're also you're a caricature. The one right. white guy has greasy hair and a black metal shirt. I know. And the only Asian people have a Model Y Tesla. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, they, yeah. they got a $100,000 car right there. That's hilarious. <laughs> this guy's got some aggressive panning skills right here. Just going back and forth. Sure. Liable to throw out a vertebrae going that quick. Right What's your guys' YouTube channel? Danny Mullen. Danny Mullen. I might change the name though. You know, I might change it to everything. Bulgarian Misery. That could be a channel. Should I rock that? Yes, dude. Yes. That's so good. How much, man? Uh, 30 bucks. That's hey, funny. Hey, cameraman, I just want to tell this brother one thing more. Oh, he's back. Look at this guy. No, no, I left my table. It went across the street. Take a change if you have a Because number one, he's harassing me. He's not giving <laughs> up. And number two, it started to smell like white shit. Oh! oh! Hey, sir! God. What are you doing? I have struggles here, too. The electrical job on my apartment, I had to have a guy in there for like three hours on Sunday. You know how invasive that feels? <laughs> sir, it's gonna be 2300 to get my Tesla charging port installed. Is that white shit? That's a problem. What kind of problems have your people been through? You know how hard it is to cut a six-figure check to Uncle Sam every April? What a jerk, huh? Fan Jerry. Hello, pizza. Did three pieces actually make it to him? Oh my God, Leo, I you restrained really yourself. I wanted to eat that last pepperoni. You can have it. It's enough for me. It's just like this. Buddy. Since when have you known the meaning of enough when it came to food? <laughs> I've never vomited to be skinny. I believe Leo can say the same. I know, I've done it. <laughs> Leo's a bulimic times. after all this. I've done it at least four times. You excited to go to Catalina Island, Jerry? Yeah, that's cool. Have you ever been? Nope. What's the last name? It would be Mullen. <clears throat> and you got a weight limit on the boat or anything like that? <laughs> 
Okay. You're in good shape, Jerry. Not literally, but in terms of this. We have four adults booked for 2 p.m. I'm sorry, Jerry. That was mean. That was mean. We got beverage vouchers. I don't know if that's for alcohol or not. But we're going to find out. Some good looking ladies. What do you think, Jerry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been sitting out front for a while watching everybody get it. You've been scoping out the twat? Yeah, why not? You have no shame, do you, Jerry? Not too much. What piques your interest mostly? Is it the titties or the ass? Uh, your daughter. You sick son of a bitch. I need you Going to find for a girl and have a kid so I can f her the day she turns in. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> you wouldn't wait. Sorry. I would. Jerry, do you see this ship ride as symbolic of anything? Yeah. Do you see it as a transformational journey that is going to be mirrored in your own life? No. <laughs> it's a perfect place for you to be who you are. A hero, a true hero. Jerry, how's your dating life? Yeah, no, that's what it's all about, Danny. We got to find him a wife here in Catalina. No. Yeah, it's his hero's journey. How are you doing, Captain? How are the currents looking today? Ferocious. Ferocious currents. The sea is angry today. All right. Oh, boy. We're going to strap ourselves in. Outdoors back there, indoors right here. Let's go outdoors, huh? He's looking for a wife, mainly. Where would you find a wife, you think? Not on this boat. Really? Don't degrade your profession. Oh, excuse me. You're on this boat, after all. Hi, how you doing, ladies? You guys are beautiful. My goodness, you're gorgeous. How do you feel about white chocolate? Kind of mm. we, got, we got this one over here. It's a little this bit is, soggy yeah, and a little soggy. old, but it's still tasty. It's off-color chocolate over there. I think it's past its expiration date, too, but hey. <laughs> Jerry, why don't you say a couple words? We gotta get hammered on this thing. Where this is the hammered? only way to get through this. And that's when we really try to find Jerry a woman in earnest. Exactly. Six champagnes. Four, five, six, seven. How many did you have? Seven. We bought 14 bottles of champagne for a reason, Danny, because we want this video to be magical. Mm. Hello. Take care. You're the best. I think you guys Hi. might have overserved these pieces of garbage over here. <laughs> you did. You sure did. You sure did. I love you. I love you. I love you. She loves me, dude. This is nice. I feel like I'm in Mexico, minus a guy named Juan having to look at my passport. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, dude? We were at the swap meet thingy. We got you a lantern. No, but it's a very special way you have to hold the lantern. One second. First of all, wear this like a shawl. Think Frankenstein's Igor. Igor. <laughs> Think Igor. Igor. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get Fan Jerry hammered every time. We're doing it. Dude, it's the big titty brigade. We're doing it. Titty brigade. So here's what's happening right now. Jerry, we're going to get you laid. There we go. Oh. Oh. Already a violation, Dret. Sorry about that. Sorry. This is a street. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. Yes, sir. We will get on the right side. And we're all confused. It's Catalina. One of you dropped your phone, too. Oh, your camera guy. Nico, did you drop your phone? the camera guy. That was Leo. It wasn't me. I'm not a fucking. And now look at we're interrupting. This is a workout. I know I'm famous. We could not have made that corner in less stylish fashion. <laughs> that was really pathetic, guys. It was really that pathetic. That was pathetic. <laughs> and Leo, haste makes waste. We lost the chicks. Yeah. No, no, keep going. We got them. Can you sense them? I can't sense them. You're right. They're lost. We're in a wild puss chase right now. I can drive, you burn me. Oh, I got this. Leo, you can't even hold on to your cell phone at this You're point. You're right, I don't know how that happened. It's, it's gonna pathetic. be a guaranteed DUI. It's pathetic. The cops are on us like Velcro. Guys. Gentlemen. We need your help. 
There's a group of women. Hey, we're stopping traffic. There's a group of women. They have. We just cannot catch a break here. Large breasts, and they were they were asking for us. We lost them. Where are? Sir, let's hear this man out what first. Are you drinking, man? I'm not drinking anything. It's just the water. Let me see. Uh, not. Leo, did you bring an open container into the cart? No, no, no. I actually got to take you guys back. I didn't know that we couldn't drink on these things. Now let's talk to this guy. Let's right, talk let's, to this guy. We're gonna work it out. I'm gonna make a to turn up here. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Did they follow us? Yeah. Do they have a secret patrol? God damn it! We can't outrun them. We're not going to drink at all anymore. It's done. Doesn't matter. We got to go back, you guys. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance for alcohol on the on the vehicles, you guys. We, we weren't made aware of that at all. We weren't. Sure should we make a run for it? I don't know what we should do. I don't want to get in trouble for stealing yeah. a golf cart yeah. and may qualify as grand theft auto, but I am going to cause quite a scene because at no point were we told we couldn't have open containers Nobody in the cart. Nobody told us that. Nobody. It's an it's Catalina Island. Seriously. What are you oh, supposed to do in your golf cart? This is bullshit. All right. You got it, brother. We can lose this guy, dude. We can lose this no, motherfucker. There's a guy behind us. Can I speak to you, sir? Are you with the golf cart patrol? Oh, you are. It's pasted right there on the front of the vehicle. I'm stopping again. That's how this game's going to work. Hold your hand up, sir. Sir, may I speak to you? Yes. Sir. It's Catalina Island. Would you like me to call the police or do you want to go back with us? Are we going to be reimbursed? I don't know. They'll talk to you guys at the office. Come on, let's go. Does the phrase buzzkill mean anything to you? Yeah, sir. You're, you're killing my buzz right now. Let's go. So Come you're on. drinking. Oh. You're drinking behind the wheel. Oh, you got a buzz? We just called the cop. Well, let's do it. All right, let's I'd love to speak to the officers. There's no cops. There's, there's no proof. Well, you could give us a cut us some slack. We could just, what, what if we just go separately, our, our separate ways? Right Dude, now. You're smoking in front of the no, no smoking sign, right in front of you. That is a nasty habit, to be fair. Leo, put out the I cigarette. Have a nicotine it's habit, and habit. Habit. that's a really bad, bad habit. Really that's bad. not good. That's all right. I put it out already. What if I told you uh -huh. that my father is a renowned real estate developer, <laughs> Nikolai Schwartz? That would tell me that you probably have money. I do. Uh huh. I do. Fun. I'm gonna get this place shut down, and shut you're gonna have down. to island hop deeper into the Pacific. <laughs> Man. I see, buddy. Sinking little by little, they tell me. What Good. Your, what was your dream when you were a child? What were you? What did you want to be? I'm not trying to be a dick. I wanted to be a golf cart patrol. Did you? <laughs> That's awesome, bro. Fuck yeah, dude. Hey, you can let us go right now. We can just have a good time, man. What's the worst thing that can happen here? Drinking and driving. A fat guy in a Jimmy Buffett T-shirt plows into a house. <laughs> Who cares? It's Catalina, dude. You can only go about 29 miles an hour on these bad boys. I want to speak to these officers. I'm going to tell them my piece. How you doing, sir? I'm driving. I have not had anything to drink, not even a drop all day. I didn't see him drinking. I can't confirm or deny that, but I assure you I am entirely sober. And we were just a little bit disappointed because we did pay for the full two hours and we were stopped near instantly. Okay, but you can't, you can't have alcohol in the cart. I didn't see it. I'm not sure that was true. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's, oh. It's right there. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Jerry? You guys couldn't have ditched the 12-er? That's, Before that's I him. lied to the officer? That's him. That's him. So what you got to do is, the, the, your ride is over, you guys got to take it back to the office. You couldn't even conceal that? Conceal. You couldn't have taken your shirt off and thrown it over top? Hold on. What's your name? Danny. Okay. You have an ID, Danny? I do, yeah. We had the attitude that Catalina was a glorified Tijuana. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of racist. Why? Is it? Yeah. Have you been down to Tijuana recently? Do you see my do you see my sweatshirt officer? Oh, his sweatshirt. He's no, I don't want to see your sweatshirt. And also Tijuana sucks, that's objective fact. When we go get a reimbursement, you have to have an open container. Yeah, obviously, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? Having a good time, Jerry? Yeah. Welcome to Catalina, buddy. Welcome to Catalina, baby! <laughs> the guy behind us is violating the golf cart weight limit! Well I know, bro. Oh, you was on the other side. Head on up to that line right there and talk to her, okay? Okay, we're gonna talk to her. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. What's up? Yes, oh yes, you see this? <laughs> Ma'am, we've been swindled. I know they say that Trump losing the election 
they say that, you know, the people who disagree with that are the big lie proponents. Us drinking alcohol on the golf cart, I think that's the big Nobody lie. Nobody really knows. Nobody saw it really firsthand. 31? 31. All right, it's not that bad, Danny. They're only charging you 31. Oh, that's fair. That's pretty good. You guys are the best. Oh, Do you believe you us that we weren't drinking out there, though? Ladies. If, can you believe that? You don't believe it? <laughs> Lady, listen. If you guys want to party a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, oh. Look at this. You guys are the best, dude. You guys he would never just that. I got a bone to pick with Mr. Beret over here. Don't aspire to be anything like that guy over there. Don't aspire to be like that guy at all. That guy? You don't let this guy. Hey, amigo, que tiene que perder un poco de peso ese, ¿no? He's making it so Hey, they, they said they've been trying to get him to lose weight for years and he doesn't yeah. get it. You guys have to do extra maintenance on his cart because he's wearing out the suspension. Mira, la suspensión está para la mierda. Ah. <laughs> El gordo está haciendo mucho damage a la suspensión, man. <laughs> Fuck. Eric, come in. El gordo está fucking ruining the suspension, bro. Okay, over there, you're ruining the suspension, dog. Jerry, when really athletic girls are out for a group run, they like it when you jump in front of them with go, your arms spread. Go, 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 go. This guy, Jerry. this guy, salivating watching you ladies go by. <laughs> Jerry, why do you have to be such a pig? Well, we can't get a golf cart ride. We can't find Jerry any women. Leo, do you think those girls over there on the other side of the park would be interested in Jerry? Where? No. Right there. Oh, yeah, they're going to be really interested in Jerry. <laughs> you mean sarcastic, you no. dick? Yeah, no, he's what? Excuse me, ladies. We have a guy with us. He's going through a serious rough patch. See the guy with the nightmare before Christmas towel and the backwards hat? Okay. I think if he doesn't meet a lady today, he might kill himself. Is it that bad? It's pretty bad. Damn. We're taking back the 630 boat and I'm afraid he's gonna throw himself overboard. Why we even, is your uh... life so bad, bruh? Jerry, why is your life so bad? Who hurt you? Oh, ex-wife. Oh, Ooh. damn. Do you have any ex drama yourself? No, I don't deal with any of my exes. I wouldn't. I have a child. Have Me too. Life. Still don't deal with my ex! <laughs> Still don't. Mm. So no for me, you know how I deal with my problems. Jerry's just gonna be honest with you girls. You're f***ing sexy and he wants to get physical. He does. Can't. Why? Don't f strangers. Well Jerry, we tried to make this thing your hero's journey. Let's wrap up, dude. You got our information? Wrap it before you tap it. Yes, we don't need another spawn. We don't need another <laughs> Fuck you, I hate you! Get out of my life forever! Oh, what? Do you think his, the breast milk. his wife shot him with milk? Take your lantern and walk the way I taught you to walk when we got off the boat. See, she's amused by that. I want you to weave in the metaphor of the lantern and light into a speech for her right now. Uh, Queen Titties, you would, <laughs> in fact, be our savior, be our light, be what God intended. Leo, do you think he's completed his hero's journey calling her Queen Titties? Let me think about it. Yes. I think so too. Well, our journey, our hero's journey has come to an end. Was it truly heroic? Driving with open containers and golf carts around Catalina? I'm not sure. All I know is, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll be back next week. Maybe like the video if you enjoyed it.